Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. It's Karen San Diego and Ryan. Ryan, say hi. Hi. And um, last time you saw Ryan, she was um, like a tiny little pipsqueak, but now she's one years old and she is still sleeping in our bedroom. So I did a nursery tour when she was around three months old. But um, since then, if you're new to our channel, we um, moved to New Jersey. Um, how long has it been now? We've been here since January. It's September now. Um, and I did a nursery tour back when we were still in Brooklyn. Um, so a, a good amount has changed since then. So I just wanted to come on and give you guys an updated nursery tour. I know a lot of people said that they found my original nursery tour helpful. So, <laughs> so I just wanted to show you. Hey, don't play with that. I just wanted to show you what we're doing now. Sorry, there's a lot of noise in the mic. Ryan is trying to grab it off my shirt. Ah! Ryan doesn't want me to hold her anymore. Hold on. Let's put her there so that I can continue the rest of this video. Um, so I'm just gonna start with like a general overview of the room itself. So this obviously is me and my husband's bed. It's a king size bed. This room is pretty spacious. So we have a king size bed and our two nightstands. And then at the bottom of the bed, we have this, um, Hey, don't do that. We have this autumn in here. And then that brings us directly into Ryan's side. Cause Ryan has all the cool stuff, right? You have all the cool stuff. Ryan, you have all the cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right here is Ryan's section of the room. Um, this is her crib, which she obviously does not like sleeping in because she sleeps right here. So Ryan is very much over the crib, but this is Ryan's crib area. The crib has one of those like storage compartments on the bottom, so that's where I store all of her um, blankets and stuff, so that's all underneath there. And then up here, I have um, Ryan's little name sign. And this gold name sign I got from Etsy, I'll link that below as well. It was originally for her um, birthday. And I ended up just, this was like on the backdrop for her birthday cake table. And I ended up just saving it and putting it in her room. And then right here, I have this um, picture from Refinery29. I think that's where it's from. I'll be sure to link it in the bottom, in the description. Um, but it just says, Black is beautiful, and then it has like all of these different girls with different skin tones and different hair textures. And just I just thought it was really beautiful. You know, you gotta promote self-love from young. So I thought this was a good way to get her started on the self-love train. Um, and then, what? Ryan, 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 what are you doing? Holy, these kids will not let you be great, I swear. So back in the crib she goes, don't do that. So yeah, where was I? So now I have this diaper, caddy, um, storage, cart type of thing. On the top I have like an actual diaper caddy that you can like lift up, it has handles. You can just take this part out. If I wanted to like change her diaper in like the living room or something, I really rarely do that, but it has the option of being portable. Um, it's just like some diapers. I need to refill her overnight diapers and her regular diapers. Some wipes, changing pads, diaper rash cream. Here I have her um, baby monitor and hold on. Um, Ryan, what are you doing? Um, no, 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 ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. I would talk more about that baby monitor, but honestly, that requires a whole different video because I hate that baby monitor. I hate it. And I'm gonna do a whole dedicated video on why I hate it and why you should not buy it, but that cannot fit in this video. So for now, I'm just gonna show you the baby monitor. It's the outlet. Um.
For now, I'm just gonna show you the camera. It's the outlet camera, and it does have the ability for you to mount it on the wall. Um, and I did have it mounted on the wall, but I ended up taking it off because I plan on getting rid of this and getting a new one. So for now, I just have it with like, it has a magnet on the bottom. So I just have it like standing, um, stuck on there. I have her hatch baby. I really should turn that off. That's probably being really annoying. Um, sorry guys, <laughs> but um, I have her hatch baby there. And um, on the bottom of this, just like um, toiletries, I have some hair stuff, some medicine stuff diaper bags um for her ubi this is another problem over here this thing it's just so cute right like look at it it's so cute and sleek but it's just not that functional like to open this thing i'm not oh i'm not gonna do it right now but when you open this it smells like a sewer like there's no type of um smell protection is what i'm gonna say here so although it's really cute um they're most likely is better options. Um, and I do have three diaper pails, so I'm gonna do a comparison video um, to tell you what I think about the three. Um, spoiler alert, I hate all of them, so. She really won't let me be great today, huh? Um, and in between, I have her like laundry bin. There's some clothes in there right now. Um, that's where I put all her dirty laundry. And then next to that, she has her bookshelf, which she is actively destroying right now. But like, this is how she's gonna be quiet so I can do this video. So I guess it's fine. Opportunity for us to teach her how to clean up. You gonna clean it up when you're done? Are you reading? Okay, I won't interrupt you. So yeah, so this is her bookshelf. Above the bookshelf, she has this picture. May all your dreams come true. Then she has her birth announcement, like board, um, some little feminist activist books right here, teddy bear, baby book, and then all of her books. I think she has a lot of books for someone so young because she got most of these at her baby shower. I did the thing where I requested people sent me books instead of cards. So that's how she ended up with so much books. And you might wonder like, okay, I see a bookshelf, I see this, I see a bed, but I don't see where any of her storage is. So her storage is all right there in that closet. So let's go over there. So this closet is um, shared between me, my husband and Ryan. Luckily, the closet in our apartment is a walk-in. So we have enough room to do that. Um, closet is a bit of a mess, but you know, realistic vlogs on this channel. Um, so this is Ryan's section of the closet. So when you come in the closet, my husband's stuff is over here. My stuff is over here. And then Ryan has this little corner cause her stuff obviously is small. And then she also has a dresser on the bottom. The dresser originally, if you watch my first, um, what you call it? If you watch my first bedside nursery video, you'll see that like the drawers were like all perfectly folded and now they're just like a mess. But honestly, that folding stuff like I don't have time for that so I just kind of throw the clothes in there but it's organized like um onesies and shirts and pants and like everything is organized but they're just not folded anymore that's definitely like a new mom thing that like you get all excited and you do everything perfectly and then as time goes on you like stop caring <laughs> but yeah all her clothes on top back here she has like her bows um all of her bows here. In case anyone doesn't know, I do sell African um, printed baby bows. I have an Etsy shop. I make bows like this one. And I'll link my shop below, but I make uh, African printed baby bows myself. I, I sell them on Etsy. So she has a bunch of my bows as well as bows that I bought like in other places. And then she has some more bows. <laughs> this is another one that I made. Is it focusing? I'm not sure if that's in focus, but this is another one that I made here. It's a clip bow. And then she has some more bows. <laughs> I'm a low key addicted to bows. I don't know why. But then she has some more bows here. Um, she has her piggy bank, keepsake boxes back there and her clothes, obviously some more storage here. And then she has up here. So she has like some sneakers there. Um, this is where I just keep all of her clothes that she can't fit yet. But she has some more stuff in there, her nebulizer, like so much stuff. 
in this um up here in this section so that's all of her storage. I have it just kind of tucked away in the closet. If you don't have a walk-in closet, like I didn't, you can watch my original video. And in that video, I had just turned my linen closet into Ryan's closet to save some space. But now we have this area right here. Ryan, Ryan, what are you doing? Yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for this um, bedside nursery tour. It's not that much. Um, strategically, I actually am trying to get more minimalistic in how I'm like um, organizing my rooms. Ryan, if you hear Ryan crying in the background, it's because she's mad that I kicked her out of the bedroom because she was doing absolutely too much. Like, look at that. Yeah, so like Ryan is one years old. My hope and dream is that eventually um, we can get her to actually sleep in her crib so that we can move to a two bedroom. We plan to just move to another two bedroom, maybe in this building or somewhere else in Jersey so she could have her own room, so we could have our bed back. Like, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've been able to just spread out on my own bed. I have a king size bed and the baby's still in the bed and she's one years old and Parents, if you have any tips on how to get this girl to sleep in her crib so that I can just enjoy my bed, because eventually this video is going to go from bedside nursery tour to just kids bedroom tour, toddler bedroom tour. Um, I'm not sure if that's still called a nursery at that point, but the goal is to get her out of this room. But for now, she's still in here. So we're still doing the bedside nursery thing. Um, if there was anything that you saw in this video that you wanted me to elaborate more on, just go ahead and let me know in the comments. I intentionally didn't like say too, too much because um, I know that I already have a video on a lot of the stuff that are in this video, such as like the camera and the hatch baby and stuff. Um, and the, like I said, the camera, there's a whole venting um, video coming out about that camera because I really do not like it. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments um, how you felt about the video or just say hi. I'd like to chat. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Where in the world is Karen San Diego? From BK to Belly, it's anywhere she say so. She changing your life, can see it straight through her eyes. Assistant moms every time she locked in. Extra, extra, read all about it.